Mike Duffy is putting the blame for his woes squarely on the man who put him in the Senate, Stephen Harper, saying that Harper's staff forced him to say that his expense claims were wrong in order to protect the boss. Duffy said that Harper and his staff knew his expense claims were fine, but threw him under the bus to spare Harper the heat in question period. When Mike Duffy was appointed to the Senate, it was well known that he hadn't lived on Prince Edward Island in decades. Back then, the opposition did make the Senate spending scandal a headache for Harper. I uh, totally re reject that categorization. Duffy says he was sacrificed even though the PMO knew he was innocent. They knew I hadn't broken the rules, he testified. It all had to do with getting Mr. Mulcair off Mr. Harper's back. In the PMO, he said I was pleading for decency from all these born-again Christians throwing me to the lions. It's politics at its most despicable. Duffy said his friend, the late finance minister, Jim Flaherty, agreed with him, saying, Mike, these people are effing unbelievable. And Duffy said that Harper betrayed him in this meeting after caucus two and a half years ago, with Harper in a hockey sweater and Duffy pleading for a break. He says Harper told him, I know you didn't break the rules, but the rules are inexplicable to our base. Pay the money back. Nigel will make the arrangements. <laughs> Nigel Wright, of course, Harper's then chief of staff, did pay the the $90,000 for Duffy's expenses. But Duffy says he also threatened him with the loss of his Senate seat if he didn't play along. He quoted Wright as saying, you keep defying the Prime Minister and you'll end up out of the caucus and probably out of the Senate. So Duffy said he was cooked. After working hard for Harper, he said, I thought, how can someone be so disloyal to someone who's been so loyal to him? The gallows are being built, he said. They're going to hang me. Then Duffy's lawyer, Don Bain, asked him if he saw anything wrong with accepting the $90,000. And Duffy said, no, the PMO and its lawyers said it was OK. I had a bunch of lawyers telling me it was the right thing to do. So the last thing I thought was there could be anything illegal about it. It was for Stephen Harper's benefit because it was part of a political play. I was coerced into going along with this under threat of losing my job. So Duffy's had six days to tell his story. Now the Crown will set about tearing it apart. Peter. All right, Terry. Thanks very much.